Hello everyone, it's Judy and you're welcome to Smartwatch Stories. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is new in the newly announced Wear OS 5. Since its inception in 2014, Wear OS has undergone significant evolution. Initially, the platform struggled to find its footing in the competitive smartwatch market. However, a pivotal shift occurred in 2022 when Google intensified its focus on the platform and Samsung also returned. This rekindled interest and boosted its user base tremendously. And in 2023, the release of Wear OS 4 marked a significant milestone that led to 40% surge in user adoption according to Google. Building on this momentum, Google has unveiled Wear OS 5 at the recently concluded Google I.O. event. Wear OS 5 promises enhancements in performance, battery life, and health tracking features. Now, looking at what is new, one of the standout improvements in Wear OS 5 is the improved performance, which by extension improves battery efficiency, particularly during workouts. Google claims tracking a marathon on Wear OS 5 will use up to 20% less power compared to Wear OS 4. And to support developers in creating more power-efficient apps, Google has also released a comprehensive guide. Moving on, guys, the watch face format introduced to Wear OS 4 has been further refined in Wear OS 5. In collaboration with Samsung, Google has added new features to enable developers to create more engaging watch faces. New complications like Go Progress and Weighted Elements have been introduced. Additionally, there is a new flavor feature that allows developers to configure attractive combinations of the watch face options, making it easier for users to customize and select their preferred styles. Weather data has also been integrated as a source in the watch face format, providing users with detailed weather forecasts for the next hour, day, and beyond. Furthermore, guys, Wear OS 5 also introduces a grid-based app launcher that is visually appealing and intuitive. This is similar to that of Galaxy Watches thanks to the One UI skin. This feature simplifies navigation and access to your favorite apps, which of course should enhance the overall user experience. Moving on, guys, Google has expanded the health tracking capabilities of Wear OS 5, particularly for runners. New metrics such as ground counter time stride length, vertical oscillation, and vertical ratio are now available, offering more comprehensive insights into running performance. Last but not the least, for me, the most user-friendly addition is the bounced goal feature. This feature helps users maintain specific thresholds during workouts. This will allow you to only get an alert when your heart rate falls outside a given range. For instance, you can set an alert for when your heart rate falls outside 150 to 170 beep per minute. This will reduce the frequency of alerts and minimize distractions. This is also particularly beneficial for maintaining focus during intense workouts. As per the release date and availability, the stock Wear OS 5 is expected to debut with the Pixel Watch 3 in October. Meanwhile, Samsung has also announced the One UI 6 watch, which incorporates Wear OS 5, and this will be launched with the upcoming Galaxy Watch 7 and Ultra. Additionally, Wear OS 5 will be rolled out to existing models which includes the Galaxy Watch 4, 5, and 6. Also, Wear OS 5 will come to the Pixel Watch and Pixel Watch 2. And guys, that is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Until next time guys, goodbye.